Oh, did you guys hear that Stephen A's favorite show, General Hospital, won big at the Emmys last it did? night? Yeah. Because of you? No, I wait, wish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold on. They won for outstanding daytime drama series and for best casting. Brick, can you believe it? Best casting. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I must say, I'm not surprised. I mean, they're, oh, they're, they're, so they're, they're, fab, they're, they're fabulous. I mean, Maurice Bernard and Laura Wright, the stars of the show, playing Sonny and Carly, husband and wife, they're absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the, the, you know, they are, it, it's, it's the best soap opera ever. Apologies to my man, Eric Brader, for Young and the Restless, because that's my man right there. But I love me well, some General Hospital. Well, listen, he has more General than... Hospital okay. is the soap I've been watching for 40 years. I got yeah. it. But Eric Braden is a personal friend. Yeah, and he's I love him real dearly. And Maurice too. Bernard, that's my man, too. So I'm, between I'm torn. Eric Braden and Maurice Bernard, who's the better actor? Well, no, no, I'm not. I'm well, yes, yes, I want to know. 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 They're both wonderful. They're both phenomenal, but General Hospital is the soap. Okay. So, Stephen A., best casting, pretty cool, them winning the Emmy. So, we had DJ Steve Porter do a pretty cool remix. What? Yes. Take a listen. Break. What'd you expect? You are I like best. that. I like that. I like that. DJ Steve Porter. I like that. He's up. a bad boy. What what is that? This what is, is that? This is an honorary Emmy only for you. Oh Lord. Y'all are there getting a little go. bit beside y'all so but go. I'm gonna take it for the day. I'm gonna take it for the day. The honorary the, the honorary Emmy. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, Skip. Well, you look good. They love, love me. You, you look they good really, holding really it. They really, really love do. me. They do. <laughs> so my, yes. my only issue with this character is the same one that I had from the start. Oh, with no, Rick. don't get me started. I, 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 don't, I don't get why they didn't make you a really bad man, as in Sonny's blood and guts muscle. No, 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 no. That's coming. We're working on that. Are you? We're working yeah. on that. Cause, cause I, we're working on that. I, I don't want my man Stephen A to be a phone tapper, like just some corrupt no, techie. No, no, no. That's that, all that, you that, are. That's You're a corrupt that, techie. That, that's just you're step a one. That's you're just a step nerd. one. You okay. crawl before you walk. You crawl before you walk. Because I'm trying to tell you. I, 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 I need. I, I, let me. I could be. I, I'm telling you. you I could be a good guy. I want I could be a good guy. I want Brick to be a bone breaker, man. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't have to engage in all of that. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something right now. It ain't always about knocking somebody out or even shooting somebody when you're the bad guy in the soaps. Sometimes you could just be mean and malicious. You can ruin careers. But all you. You, was you can ruin lives. Phone. No, no, that's the now. We that's got it. Now. And I found out where yeah. a killer was for Sunday. Oh. You did? Yeah, that's where I was having a phone for. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? He got that's to what the I bottom did. of it. He made things happen. I made things happen. Yeah. Yeah. You should that's know that. Okay. You should know that. Were you packing on the show? <laughs> no, but I will be next time. I will be next time. Are you sure? I will be next time. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna do it. I dare you, people. Write him into the script as a bad man. Well, they have. They have. They have. They have. Uh, you know, they'll. They'll have me back on. Right. Congrats, though. To Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you, Yes. I told y'all the, the soap opera's no joke. I I'm always to tell wanted to present an award. I'm trying to really tell y'all. I mean, yeah. it doesn't apply to me, but maybe one day it might. I, you never no, know. That's yours to keep. No, no. Mine's to keep. Yeah, <laughs> don't, just let's leave it there. All right, let's move on. Well, what it says to me, Skip Bayless, is that they don't have that much faith in your boy Bryce Petty. As I much agree. As I thought, uh, that you are did. correct, sir. Um, from what I'm being told, uh, there are several folks affiliated with the New York Jets that don't believe Bryce Petty is near ready. Um, and it's one of the reasons why Ryan Fitzpatrick is so hell-bent on getting his money. It's not just because of his level of production, the 31 touchdowns that he threw this year. It's not just due to the fact that, um, <clears throat> you know, he sees other, what other quarterbacks are getting. He recognizes that faith is pretty much done or gone with Geno Smith and even worse with Bryce Petty. 
So as a result, there's a certain level of leverage that he believes that he has, and because of that is why he feels the way that he feels. Hackenberg, I'm sort of struggling with. Connor Cook was rated higher by a lot of folks than he was. Uh, when we talked about Cardell Jones and others, even though you wouldn't say they were rated higher, uh, the bottom line is we weren't thinking about Hackenberg at all because after busting, on, busting onto the scene as a freshman at Penn State, got a new coach in James Franklin, new system, suspect offensive line, was getting hit entirely too much. Uh, his, his level of production, he threw for 2,900 yards both his first freshman and sophomore year, but in his junior year, dipped to 2,500 plus, and obviously he only threw six interceptions, but only threw 16 touchdowns. It just wasn't that impressive. I watched, I looked at his numbers game by game, Skip. Uh, the only team worth noting that he really performed against is Illinois. You know, outside of that, it wasn't really much. I mean, Buffalo and Army and, you know, games like that were games that he won against Temple to open the season, which they lost, by the way, and it's not to knock Temple because obviously they're a better team than they had been in the past. When I was covering the Temple Owls, Molly, um, the Temple, they, they averaged like one victory a year. I mean, right. it, was, it was horrible. This is a new day at Temple. Yeah. It's a new day at Temple yeah. because I literally call for the program to be done, okay? For them to just die and go away and just be a strictly basketball well, Only you. Because, well, 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 no, no, no. I didn't. Well, the reason why I did that was because of the facilities. They had yeah. built the, yeah. they used okay. to, they had McGonagall Hall, then they built the Le yeah. Leah Chorus Center, and there was no football stadium. You got to go across town to where the Eagles it wasn't play. Getting the it doesn't make any game. sense whatsoever. But... Kudos to them for doing what they did. In the end, what it comes down to is this. Hackenberg threw for 103 yards. 103 yards against Temple. So I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at the fact that you lost five of your last seven, including your last four, straight to end your collegiate career. And on top of it all, he walked up in the room with interviews blaming the coach, blaming the system. Those are the kind of things that, you know, you don't usually hear from a quarterback. That doesn't bode well. It doesn't speak well to you. But in the end, big body, incredibly strong arm. They're an outdoor team. You need somebody that can throw outside the numbers, particularly in inclement weather. They believe he can do that. So when you combine that with the fact that, again, it's wise to draft a quarterback, I think McCagnan uh, deserves the benefit of the doubt in this particular situation as the GM. Let's see how it pans out. So what do you think ends up happening? Will Fitzpatrick be back? I think, Fitz, I, I think they've got to find a way to get Fitzpatrick back. But I think Fitzpatrick has to understand if the money that he's not getting is because they can't give it to him, not because they won't. I think if they could give it whatever they can give him, I think they'll muster it up and give to him because they recognize you got to have a quarterback. And, and the New York Jets are, not, are in no position to try and convince the city of New York that you – are going to compete for a playoff spot with Geno Smith or Bryce Petty. Okay, here's what I think will happen. They will figure out how to get Ryan Fitzpatrick back in the fold to be their starting quarterback. I agree. I believe Geno will remain as a reasonably experienced backup quarterback. Right. And I believe that Bryce Petty will be cut sometime during training camp. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe he'll make the last cut. I don't know. I hope he doesn't for his sake because I really believe in Bryce Petty. I'm assuming Chan Gailey, the offensive coordinator, Old school meat and potatoes, Chan Gailey. I'm assuming he does no longer believe in Bryce Petty. I'm assuming that Chan Gailey is not a fan of the run and shoot, fast break, spread offense that Bryce Perry, Petty ran at Baylor. And it's somehow not translating because Bryce Petty can wing it. He's got a great personality, he's got charisma. Sometimes these quarterbacks wind up wrong place, wrong time, wrong team, wrong situation, wrong coordinator. And I, I got to tell you, I've watched Christian Hack Hackenberg a lot, and I, I don't get him. I'm sorry, I don't get Christian Hackenberg. He is slow on the draw. He is deliberate in his processing. We got to get Stephen A. some help here. Thank you. Okay? We got to get him some help. Do we have Wait. anything? No. I, I don't. No. I got you covered. No. I mean, if you I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm using okay. everything but damn near sign, sign language. I'm saying I need some tissue, but go ahead. I'm somebody sorry. Somebody get Stephen A. a tissue. We need Please tissue. Somebody. It's getting me, emotional. Let me say yeah. this. Do you have any? Don't worry about it. I'll survive. All right. I'll survive. All right. Go ahead. Okay. But so go ahead. Christian Hackenberg, to me, even if when I watched him with Coach Gruden in the quarterback school, he, he just processes deliberately. And, and I'm just not sure he's going to translate to be a star on the next level. I'm not sure he's the future of the New York Jets. That's just me. And again, James Franklin, my former coach at Vanderbilt, as you will know, he's known as a much better recruiter than an actual coach. So obviously, once Christian Hackenberg lost to Bill O'Brien, who was his quarterback whisperer, the guy who recruited him, quarterback maker. We get one? 
All yeah. right, bring it in here. Come on, Tito. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so Now we're good. Now we're back so much. I appreciate it, man. Go ahead. Way to go. All right. Let me say this. Yes. Tom Bowles mm -hmm. did a good job last year. McCagnan did a good mm -hmm. job reinvigorating the Jets franchise mm -hmm. and building faith in them, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's the issue, though. Ryan Fitzpatrick had a pretty damn good year. And if Ryan Fitzpatrick had showed up in that season finale against Buffalo, I think we'd be having a different conversation. I think to yeah. some degree, That's regardless of what everybody wants to say, you're kind of holding it against him because Ryan Fitzpatrick ultimately ended up being Ryan Fitzpatrick. Quality, I good agree. quarterback, but doesn't necessarily close the deal for you in big moments, and they needed him to close and, and, and finish things but off. But he set records, because, man. Because, listen, yeah. it wasn't his, I don't, it was believe, I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe it was his fault to the degree that others are trying to say that it was. In a perfect world, I think that for, for one or two years, I think I think Ryan Fitzpatrick has earned about a $13 million deal. Mm -hmm. I, I really, you know, if, if you can pay Sam Bradford $11 million, yep. you can pay Ryan Fitzpatrick 13 But if the Jets don't have the money, they don't have the money. They'll have yep. the money. They got to find a way to get the yep. money and, and just give it to and them. And according to Schefter, there, there is an offer for about $7 to $8 million a year. You know how you think of the Browns as having the rotating door with quarterbacks? The Jets, since after drafting Hackenberg, have now had 11 quarterbacks, a league high since 2000, drafted 11. Mm. Unbelievable. We know what that says. Up next, Kevin Durant had an abysmal game on Saturday. If the series continues this way, how big of an impact will it have on his offseason?